I never thought I'd see the day where I would cry in a movie. Well, here's the thing. It takes a lot for me to cry at movies. No, it does not. Yes, it does. You liar. You It does. Bastard. It does. Okay. Anyway. Okay. <sighs> this is probably one of the only other movies besides Clan Odd After Story that has ever made me cry. And that wasn't even a movie. That was an anime series. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the Charming Analysis Podcast. I'm Mari. I'm Jade. And today is going to be a video that I was not expecting us to make right now. Which I'm surprised at. I'm like, damn. Like, this is crazy. So, Jay convinced me to watch this movie. Fun fact, I never saw this movie till now. And stuff, even though it's been out for a very long time. So, guess what we gonna be watch? We, we, we guess what we watched today, guys. Yeah, he watched Marley Me with me. Oh my gosh, that movie was. Damn, that got me right in the feels. Fuck. Anyway, so yeah, why don't you explain what Marley and Me is about, honey? Jay. What? Explain. <laughs> Stop focusing on the fucking TV and tell us what what uh, Marley and Me is. Marley and Me is a slice of life story about a couple who get a dog and then you just watch that couple live their life with the dog. And eventually their kids. Yes, and eventually their kids. So, yeah. Um, this movie came out 2008, right? Yeah. So, yeah, this movie's been out for a very long time. And this was one of those movies to where... I always heard people talk about it and say they cried. I never really watched it until now. Mm-hmm. I heard a lot of people like the movie. And it, and people are right. It's a good movie. I don't normally cry at stuff. I tear up a little bit. But this is the first time I've full-blown cried in a very long time for, like, a movie. The last one I cried at, which is what I said before, is Clan Out After Story. Like, long, long time ago. And that was a TV series. Anyway. So. What did you think of Marley and Me? Because you said the last time you saw was 13 years ago. Uh, What did you think of this movie? Yes. No, I was 13 when I saw it. Oh, you were 13. I saw this. Uh, It still holds up really well. Uh, I'm surprised how hard. That's not that hard for your slice of life stories to hold up because those are more the most timeless things in the world. And they're more down to earth than everything else. Yeah. So I, I was like, you know, it's a, it's still a really really good movie. Um, I, it's just it's just like um, it's just a regular story about th- this couple's life and like and like they adopt a dog and like. Pretty the dog is a little shit. The dog's a little shit sometimes, but they love they love him and like they have a family and they you follow them in their in their journey. Um the dad dad's uh the dad's like, you know, works at a at a writing uh firm. To like make stuff for the paper. He to basically make stuff for the paper and that's where he gets to tell stories about his family and the dog and everything. Mostly the dog at first for like the longest time. It was mostly the dog. Mm-hmm. Which I can understand at this point because not gonna lie, it's like, damn. This this movie it doesn't really do much requ- requiring like like regarding um like a bunch of different things. It's honestly interesting for what it is. Like but it's a simple it's a simple story with, with a simple premise, but it gets you really good in the feels and yeah. stuff like that. I actually thought this was a very good movie. I was not expecting to actually cry at this cuz it takes a lot for me to cry at movies, but I'm actually surprised this actually made me cry and I was like, "Damn." Uh-huh. I was not expecting that, but it was really good. For what it was. So, I'll give it that. Um, I guess, did you think Marley was an overall good character for this movie? Because I thought he was a good character. What do you think? What did you think of Marley? Marley, uh, I... uh, You mean, like, the... 
Yeah, he was, he was a good character. I mean, he's based off a book. He has to be, I guess. But I guess, I don't know if this is like a fictional book or this was based off a real guy's dog and he decided to write write about it. I don't know, but you know, I, I, there's a lot of lot of it, a lot of stories where like you know there's like a normally like a dog like type story, dog and man type story, you know. Yeah, it's just one of those things to where it gets you in the feels, but they, but they do it in a way that's like it's good. It's a good way to do it. I'm just surprised that um, I have not seen this movie sooner. Uh, what did you think of uh, the the two parents? What did you think of Marley's owners? I thought... I feel like he was a bit of a dick at first when it came to Marley. But after like a while, I think he'd grown used to him. But they both were trying to get through their issues yeah, and like, stuff like not that. Not everything's going to stop because, oh, doggy shenanigans. It's like, no, they got a life and like, that's fine. Are you surprised how many kids they had? Because I was not expecting them to have like three kids. Like the first one I got, the second one was kind of a surprise. Third one was like, oh, they're having a third one. Damn. <laughs> Even though like, we're not going to have any more kids. We're not going to have any more. Inserts baby. Inserts the baby. And the first two are boys, and then this one's a girl, so it's different. I don't know. Like, the first kid you get to see, like, more of because he's the firstborn and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. I feel like once um, once the kids got introduced, I feel like Marley, like, mellowed out, like, so much. Yeah, they probably did. They mellowed them out so much. Which I think is a good thing because honestly, like, after everything that they went through before they had Marley, I feel like it's a good thing, especially because of how, you know, they acted and stuff toward the parents Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I think it was interesting. Um, what else? Uh, well, you cried (laughs) at the end of it, which a lot of people, like, tend to, like not do well they do but like you know you just weren't expecting it were you expecting it because i already told you the dog was gonna die um i was honestly not expect i knew i knew it was coming i just didn't think he was gonna die the way he did yeah but at the same time this is one of those like thingies that's like I don't know what to expect. I didn't. I was like, I didn't know what to go and go and throw it. I was very open minded going into this, and I was just like, okay, this is not so bad. There were some parts where I, I kind of wanted to kick both the parents' asses, but not to the point where like, you know, it's easily redeemable in a sense because the going through a lot of stuff. I know there was a point where I want to know your opinion. Do you think? The wife was going through postpartum depression after they had the first kid, going into the second. I kind of feel like she did, maybe. and she just didn't want to admit it. Yeah, maybe, I guess. A prob- yeah, a probable cause. It's just like, well, you know, you get tired of raising kids. Like, you know, like constantly yeah. like, tending to them and also tending to, like, you know, being a stay-at-home parent. You yeah, but th- then again, she she was the one that wanted to work from home. That was kind of on her. But at the same time, I, I get where she's coming from, where she wants to spend more time with her kids. Yeah. So that's understandable. It's one of those things to where it's understandable on both aspects. And they at least have a good chance to talk about both they sides of it. it. This thing is very human. Like, if you're thinking the most human human thing possible, it's this. This movie is... Peak human. Mommy, are you a human? Oh my goodness, Jay, we're not going into this right now. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess is there anything you want to add uh, to this or it's still a really good movie after let's see, twenty eighteen. So how how much would that be? It's more than ten years. It's it's like two thousand eight. Yeah, it's fifteen years, isn't it? Yeah, it's like fifteen years old, yeah. something like that. It's still really, really fucking good. Uh, I recommend it, honestly. Like, so even after it. like watching 13 years later, you still feel like it holds up? Yeah, definitely. I feel like this movie definitely would... You can is, tell it holds up because you're still crying. <laughs> yes, it, it definitely holds up from what I've 
understood. And I'm glad it has held up as much as it has because legit, I'm honestly surprised we even got through this. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a shorter video, unless you have any more to say about it. Do you really have not have any more to say? Because I can't think of anything else. Uh, not really. That was very, uh, it's very comedic in the first like half. Yeah, but if you're looking for a movie to cry to, this is definitely a good one to cry to, in a sense. Um, I'll give my rating first and then you can give me yours. Mm -hmm. So, it's a very simple movie with a very simple plot. It's an hour and a half. Also, I think this is not a family movie. It was advertised a lot as a family movie. But it's not. It's not really. That's kind of misleading. It's like a romantic comedy. And I can kind of see that. It, romantic dramedy. You it's kind of, like, not really a family. It's, it's kind of a family movie, yet more of a romantic comedy. Uh-huh. Kind of thing. They advertised it like a family movie, like, so much. Yeah. But, I don't know. Did they actually make a sequel for this or no? I don't think so. That would be weird. <laughs> well, you never know. It could be, like, Marley's son or something. I don't know. I'm actually curious if Marley I could marry got, Marley got, like... Shot in the balls. So. He didn't get shot in the balls. He he got his balls taken out, I'm pretty sure. Uh -huh. Let me look. I'm going to actually look. I'm sorry. This movie has no balls. There is a second one. Does it have Owen Wilson in it? <laughs> uh, yes. It does? I think. Hold on. No. You can't be. Hold can't on. be right. Is there a part two to Marley and me? So, yeah, there's apparently a second one. Which I did not know. Okay. I Why do I feel like we're going to have to watch the second one? Uh, I don't want to watch the second one. It's called The Puppy Years. Oh, okay. Or, or originally titled The Terrible Twos. Oh, my God. And it came out in 2011. Oh, so. uh, okay. So, cast sense. Travis Turner. So, none. So I think it's a different cast. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's another. So nothing to do with the original. Right? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Okay, what would you give the movie? Anyway, um, but yes, there is a sequel to this. We should try and watch the sequel. No, I'm not gonna watch straight direct to video dog poo. You don't even know what it's about. Uh, okay, what what do you give this? What do you give this? I would give this a eight point five out of ten. I think it's really good. I don't really have any complaints for this movie, but I don't feel like it deserves a 10 out of 10 or like a 9.5. I feel like it's a it's an average movie. It's good. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't really have complaints with it. Mm -hmm. I would just give it an 8.5. It's average, but it's, it's, it's interesting enough to where you can enjoy the plot, but I don't think it deserves anything higher than an 8.5, but that's just me. Okay. What about you? What do you give it out of 10? I give it like... Decent score. Uh, still decent every time I watch it. There's nothing, like, amazing to me. So, I give it a six. You give it a six? Yeah. Would you watch it again? Oh, well, every few years I come back to it and I'm just like, yeah, it still holds up. Okay. I'll be 60 and I'll be like, oh, it still holds up. I would, probably, I would probably watch it again. I just don't think we're going to do it for a while. But. <laughs> anyway, that's basically the end of the podcast. It's a bit of a shorter one. Um... If you guys are interested in us doing a, the second movie, just let us know. Because I would like to try and see what it is and see if it's just as good as the first. I highly doubt it, but yeah. well, not tonight, but I think we should do it. We do plan on doing season four of Breaking Bad. We got another show we're waiting on yeah. to fucking watch. We're going to fucking watch Good Omens when it comes out. Yeah. Yay. We got to watch the first season because the way you watch the... The way you watched it beforehand. Yeah. Uh, but for those who don't know, our next one we plan on doing, the next big thing we plan on doing, besides season four, we're going to be watching season one and season two of Good Omens and be doing a podcast on the franchise. Because at this point, I think we deserve to do both for like a podcast. So yeah, so yeah that's basically the next thing we're going to be having done. Maybe a couple movies here or two, but season four of Breaking Bad is coming soon. Once we finish Good Omens, we plan on doing that. And finishing off season five, hopefully by September, is our plan. Because we're going to be doing Halloween and Christmas movies so fucking much near the end yeah. of the year. That's why we're, we're tr our goal is to try and get this done by yeah. the end. Yeah. 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 Our goal is to try and get um, 
Breaking Bad done by September. So hopefully that that happens, which we should be able to. What do you think? You think we'll get it done by September? I believe so. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'm Mari. I'm Jake. And we're out.